the Badgers of Wisconsin have come on the road to take on a Purdue team that is all the way up to the third ranked team in the country. 50 games for this Purdue team. You're nothing. Vincent Edwards for three. How good is he, Ben? Second worst home loss in Minnesota history. And that's a second three. This time the other Edwards. Opening decided not to shoot the three. This time steps back and hits another one. How good is that? With the population on campus. And, and they're seniors. People know him. Here's another senior. He's got a big challenge on his hands, not just tonight, but this season. This is and because of injury, nobody. I mean, guys that are. They are a great offensive team. They're also a great defensive team. Harms over to Vincent, and the defense just left him. So what do he do? Good play by Hap for the steal, and Hap running the floor lays it in by Klein. I feel like he wants to shoot. There you go. Yeah, he did. You can just feel. It. You can feel it. The first possession when he had the ball, he wanted to lift up. Problem of the football team during that last timeout. We're at midcourt. That's a three from Reavers, who is a very talented young player. Vincent Edwards to the basket. When's the last time you saw somebody able to do that against Wisconsin? Vince Edwards just fast. Thompson or was it uh, Edwards? P.J. Thompson then back cut. Fritzel three. Carson Edwards pull up three good. This could be solved by not letting the ball be driven into the middle. App lost it on the way up. I thought that was actually going to be a clean look. Reavers for three. Really impressive win. It looks even more impressive with what Michigan did in East Lansing to the Spartans. And they're just having a hard time stopping that guy. Well, on defense, Purdue's doing a really good job of trying to keep the ball on one side. Lost Ilkane. And he laid it in. Good pass. Good finish. Hap. Right over Haas. Good. Yeah, really good. Matthias from the free throw line. That's his first. You saw it right there against Hap. Size 22s can move. They're trying to hit him, and the pass got intercepted. Not a bad effort. Hap's heave comes up short. And that's the second touch already here in the first few seconds of the half for Hap, and a good move. Yeah, he, turnovers in one half is not going to happen often, if ever. You can't leave him open. Wisconsin he's, cannot leave him open. Yeah, he's. Hap working his way in close, finds Iverson. Good little shot fake for the bucket. I don't think there's anything to see there. Edwards, another one. That's a contested three and good for Alex Ilikanen. Usually guys step up. I think of Kaminsky from his sophomore to junior year. Hap with the left hand. You would not have Bates Diop as, as the best all around. Aleem Ford, a freshman, knocks down a three for Wisconsin. Badgers, Wisconsin. Hap, quick move with the left hand, arguing it. You ever been to Santiago? Never. Awesome. Purdue hadn't as many chances to run in this second half. Harms dunks it on. Because they know he's willing. Harms, can he dunk another one? Edwards, what a spin move. And the finish. Spin whack. That's just abuse of TJ Slunt. In the tournament and probably will win both the conference and the conference tournament. Brad Davison hits the pull up jumper. It's pretty impressive that he's just hanging in. Edwards catch and shoot three. Sprinted. Shot not fading away on the dead run. And now he steals one. Just lay it in. I don't think you need to double him. P.J. Thompson. Out this year other than two games for the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, but. Pritzel for three. Iverson. Blocked. Harms has had a bunch of them. Pure from Brad Davis. Yeah, really great environments in college basketball. This has been awesome by the students, the alumni of Purdue. Tough night for the Badgers. Great night for the Boilermakers. 78-50, the 14th straight win for Matt Painter's Purdue team.